Hello grade 10s and welcome to today's lesson on the effect of a and q on the quadratic function. Remember that the quadratic function can also be called a parabola. We already know that the a value affects the shape of the parabola. Let's join Eloise and Segra as they revise this by looking at different graphs. Now let's look at the formulae and see how the changes to them has changed the graphs and see if we can make a generalization. When the A value in the formula is 2, the new graph is thinner than the parent graph. The arms of the graph are closer together. The parent graph has been stretched upwards to make this graph. When the A value in the formula is a half, the new graph is fatter or wider than the parent graph. The parent graph has moved down closer to the x-axis. The arms are spread wider on this graph. We still need to see what happens to the graph if the A value is negative. How does the parent graph change if A is negative? Where will the new graph lie? Hmm, I'm actually not sure. Okay, I'll show you. We have made a table of values for y equals negative 1x squared here, and here I plotted the points for this graph. If I join them, this is what the new graph looks like. It's flipped over, but it's still the same shape as the parent graph. Yes, that is close. In mathematics, we call this flip a reflection. If I reflect the parent graph over the x-axis like this, the two graphs fall right on top of each other, so the reflection line is the x-axis. Right, so you saw that if we reflect the parent graph over the x-axis, the new graph we make has an a value of negative 1. So, if you know what y equals half x squared looks like, I mean how fat or thin it is, then we can tell how fat or thin y equals negative half x squared is. Great thinking! The reflected graph has the same shape as the positive graph, but it is upside down. Let me show you a few more of these graphs. Here is y equals 2x squared and y equals negative 2x squared. Here is y equals 3x squared and y equals negative 3x squared. Do you see how each graph with a negative a has the same shape as the graph with a positive value of that a? Now that we've revised this, let's see what happens when we change the value of q. We have seen that a causes the graph to change shape. Now what do you think the q will change about the graph? Well, my best guess would be that q will move the graph away from the origin, up or down the y-axis. Since that's what Q did for the straight line graph. Good thinking. Let's check. We'll start with the formula for the family of quadratic functions y equals ax squared plus q. We will keep a to 1 so that we can focus on the changes made by adding an amount of q to x squared. Let's first look at what happens if q is equal to 1. So the new function is y equals x squared plus 1. Let's take a look at the parent graph of y equals x squared. What do you think the new graph, the graph of y equals x squared plus 1, will look like? I think the whole graph is going to shift up by one unit. So instead of turning at 0, 0, it'll turn at 0, 1. That's an excellent prediction. If the whole graph shifts up by one unit, it will look like this. Let's check that by plotting some points on the new graph. Here is a table of values. I have chosen easy numbers for x. The y values will be x squared plus 1. Let's fill in the values of y for the new function. When x is negative 2, x squared is 4, so x squared plus 1 is 5. For the second one, I get 
two and here one this next one is two again and the last one is five again let's plot these points quickly so it's negative two five negative one two zero one then one two and two five that's more than enough points to give us the pattern for the graph so now all we need to do is join the points to complete it hey cool i was right the whole graph moved up by one unit yes you were spot on there now let's see if you can figure out another one what do you think the graph of y equals x squared plus 2 will look like? That's easy. The graph will move up the y-axis by 2 units. If you increase q by 1, it shifts up 1 unit. If you increase q by 2, it shifts up 2 units and so on. You are getting pretty good at this. So this is the graph you will get. Are you ready to make a statement about how the q value affects the graph of a quadratic function? Yeah, we can say that the graph shifts up q units because it always moves the same number of units as the q value in the formula. The a value changes the shape of the quadratic function and the q value moves it up and down. Using these two pieces of information, we will be able to sketch parabolas quite easily. Thank you for joining us, Great Tens. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about quadratic functions on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.